God damn, one minute of flying, 15 minutes of trying to find your goddamn quad. Fuck. Welcome to NQIS Steve. On the bench today, we have a drone finder or a, a buzzer, a screamer, a quad locator. This particular one is made by URUAB. They've been producing all sorts of things these days. Um, I thought I would give their brand a run on something cheap, see if they were reliable. Um, I can say that I've got one of these already on a craft and it does its job. If you've lost it in the grass somewhere, I just use it as a normal beeper. A uh, little disclaimer, I haven't ejected a battery as of yet to see if it works that way in real life, but it does on the bench. Now, it's a self-contained unit that has its little lipo on board. It's a 75 milli-hour job. It'll run for around three hours, apparently. Um, if you haven't found it in that three hours, good luck. It has a lead on board. And that lead shows a, uh, a red color when you uh, plug in your flight battery. It'll start charging and a red lead indicator to show it's charging 5 volt into the battery pack. A um, little switch beside it is for when it's in its fine mode and it's screaming its head off. If you haven't ejected the battery and you've just used the switch. Okay, it's Dave from the future here. Um, I'm just getting a little bit confused when I say this, but I meant to say when you use your switch just to use it as a normal buzzer, when you find it, you can just use that same switch to turn off the buzzer. This next bit is glibly glock, but I meant to say if you've ejected the battery, you would hold it down for two seconds. Well, you would unplug your battery and you hold in this little switch for around two or three seconds. So, there you go. This is the new stuff by URUAV. Uh, interesting part of it as well, you can see you've got your little four pins there for programming. So you'd have ground on one side, positive on the other, and an RXTX connection to some sort of programmer, whether it's your serial or a USB to serial device. And you could maybe hack a bit of code and get the lead to do something else and, I don't know, make it take five second press or a one second press. I don't know, you could have a play that way as well. It comes with a little harness, and the harness is the three wires on it. That's the silicon wires, they're pretty good. And you just put black to ground, of course, red to five volt, and the green wire to your uh, buzzer terminal on your flight controller. Okay, well there it is with the board installed. You can see I've had to put it to the front here couldn't sit over the stack because my half size video transmitter which is supposed to be a half card isn't it's slightly bigger so i have to be able to jam it into the front here but you can see i can get to my switch pretty easy okay so i'll just turn it on and you can see how it operates let's use this little battery that's sitting here only a 3s but it'll do the job Okay, so you could see that the little white light flashed on it at the time. Now, we'll pretend that we've gone for a fly and the battery's come out. Okay, so it takes about 20 seconds. So you'd, I would have been... Okay. So there we go, nice and loud. Now just to press this button for two seconds, ready? Hold oh, down, one, two, let go, she's off. You could see that nothing was plugged in then. All right. Okay, so it's that simple. You buy a beeper, you put a beeper on the bloody thing, and you don't walk around a tree for 15 minutes or two trees for 15 minutes like I did today, looking like a right tool. So, 
Hope you've enjoyed that quick little video on why you should buy a beeper. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Fly good. See ya.